Guys, I know I've said this time and time again, but I really, really think that selvage denim is coming back into trend. And regardless of whether or not if you guys care about that or not, this is how it's still going to affect you either way. See, the way that menswear goes, and if you're in the industry, you know this as well, when something is on trend, brands, designers, and manufacturers alike are going to try and come up with new ideas to keep it fresh and innovative. And the reason is because they want to push out as much of that product as they can. Which is why you see the whole one wash denim movement in the first place. Because one wash denim, for example, is supposed to be the entry point for anybody who doesn't really know anything about denim and wants to get into it. They can comfortably and easily get into denim. They can familiarize themselves with the terms, familiarize themselves with the shrinkage, figure out what fit that they really like, and if whether or not fading denim as a whole is even a thing for them. So basically when something is on trend, even if you don't care about it and you just like that product or that style as a whole, that item or product being on trend is actually going to still affect you because that's when innovation for this one particular product or style is at its peak. One thing I've been seeing a lot recently is that more and more denim brands are applying more than one wash treatments to their denim. I'm seeing brands like Eternal that are actually pre-fading their selvage denim. I did a video on my nudie jeans that were pre-faded. I believe they were from a Kai Hara mill. I could be wrong about that, but I'll double check. But those were pre-faded selvage denim jeans. And I'm seeing more and more washing effects and finishing treatments on selvage denim than I've ever seen before. And the jean that I'm about to show you is no exception. The Oni Japanese denim brand is one of my favorite denim brands ever to exist. And the reason is because, much like myself, they really enjoy and appreciate the texture of fabrics and weaves as a whole. And that is just so evident by the denim collections that they have to offer. And they come in all different thicknesses, all different weaves, all different washes, different fits. They even have a denim jean that's called the secret denim. And it's a blend between a green cast and a beige cast denim. I don't think I've ever actually personally seen a double casted or double tinted denim before. I've only seen the Oni Secret denim online and the color it gives off is just absolutely gorgeous. And those are a pair of jeans that I have to get my hands on. There's actually a myth out there for Oni denim that theorizes that there's only one man running the show that's using a very old wooden shuttle loom that he's actually sitting there and hand looming every denim fabric by hand by himself and then constructing the jeans. To be honest, this sounds like a really wicked myth to me and also sounds virtually impossible with just how much denim variety that Oni has, the fits, the sizing, and also the distribution. Now, if you guys really want me to do a deep dive into the Oni denim legacy, the history, the brand itself, make sure to drop down in the comments and also drop a like to let me know that you want to see that whole video dedicated to just the history of Oni. So the jeans that we're reviewing today are the Oni Biowash 16 ounce denim. And I actually got these jeans at Blue and Green in Soho. And it's funny because I went into Blue and Green not looking for anything like this. But once I saw these jeans and I tried them on, they were the only thing I wanted. I went in looking for a really nice green cast denim and they didn't really have any. But when I saw these just sitting there and only one size left, and it was my size, I said it was meant to be. Just look at the fabric detail and how slubby and thick the yarns are. And not only do I love the weave and the thickness of this denim, but I also just love the shade and the hand done construction. Now I've only worn these for about two months, but you're actually already starting to see a little bit of white poking through on the thigh and the knee area. And I also did get soaked in the rain with these once and that did surprisingly uh, help these kind of bring that fade out a little bit more. But it also makes sense because I was walking in the city at that point and was really drenched in water. Guys, don't be discouraged to wear your raw denim in the rain. But anyways, back to the denim. This is one of those pieces where you can really tell that the tailor who was sewing these jeans together really has extreme skill, but not just skill, has immense passion in what they're creating and just really knows what they're doing. All the way from the waistband attachment down to probably the cleanest chain stitch hem that I've ever seen. Not exactly super thick, but it's so cleanly done. And what's even more interesting about this jean that I love, the selvage ID even in and of itself, you can see was also hand woven because one line of the selvage ID is actually thicker than the other and one has more white on the selvage ID than the other side. 
This is one of the most beautiful salvage ideas I've ever seen because it has so much unique character to it and really just encompasses the entire theme of the jean. Now I've never washed these jeans before. Like I said, I was only soaked in the rain, but the color that these jeans gives off is absolutely amazing. You also have some wear detailing already at the hem. Now these jeans I generally like to wear uncuffed and I just let them stack. So being able to capitalize on that roping at the hem was really a huge plus for me. Even looking at the belt loops, you can see a lot of fading on the belt loops. And I've barely worn these jeans. This is purely just from the wash that they did. You have so much of that gradation in the blue and like almost like a cream white kind of poking through from the weft. One thing I did notice about the waistband of these jeans is that the wash gave it a lot of character where you can see the seam allowance on the inside of the jean itself. And that in and of itself is actually delivering a really nice fade line. And I can't wait to see how that's gonna fade down. Now these jeans are a four button fly, but they do have more of like a mid rise to me. And at first they were very difficult for me to get into the buttonholes because it is a 16 ounce denim. But after a while, now they just slip right in. And you can see on the button Oni International Co. It's just a really nice clean button, nothing crazy. Because when you have a piece like this, you don't want too many details that are gonna take away from the fabric itself. The fabric is the statement piece. It's a showstopper. It has a beautiful texture, a beautiful color, and is ultimately gonna fade down to something crazy. And you don't wanna take away from that. Here you have the Oni Denim Patch, registered patent, official. I'm assuming that's what it means. Natural indigo, every garment guaranteed. Now I don't know why they don't have the lot number, the waist or the length measurements on the patch itself, but guys for reference, I'm 6 foot 1, I'm 160 pounds and I purchased a size 33. On the inside of the waistband you have this beautiful Oni patch that says made in Japan, the genuine article, which is on the inverse side of the outside leather patch. You also surprisingly have back pocket rivets on this jean which I really wasn't expecting. And I actually, truth be told, just figured out that they have these while I was recording this video. And that to me, as always, is just another sign of passion and how serious a brand takes the construction of their denim. Now, another thing that I do love about this jean is that it's the first jean that I have that on the coin pocket has a very minimal tuck that shows only a little bit of the selvage ID. Again, without taking away from the beautiful texture of the fabric itself. So it's a mixture between a hidden coin pocket selvage ID and what I'm assuming is just called a selvage ID tuck where only a little bit of it is poking out. And of course the coin pockets are riveted as well and so are the front pockets. Now granted, I know the belt loops are not tucked but there's a very good reason why I think that they aren't. I think because of the nature and the thickness of the denim and also just feeling how thick the seam allowance is on the inside of this jean, I don't think that they would have been able to feasibly or cleanly get the entire belt loop on the inside of the waistband on top of the seam allowance. And that to me is just an unsolvable problem. So it's fine that these aren't tucked in belt loops, especially since it's kind of obvious that these are more of a fashion piece and also a nod to replicate vintage construction to denim. But at the end of the day, I'm not gonna go work on my car in this. The one thing that I do wish was different about these jeans is that I wish the pocket bags were a little deeper because oftentimes I'll find that my phone is actually sticking out just a little bit, just enough to bother me outside of the pocket. But other than that, I'm not really bothered by these jeans at all. Now what's interesting about this jean is that it has one of the most interesting serge stitches that I've ever seen because this to me does not look like a typical serge or overlock stitch. It actually looks very heavily reinforced with that straight stitch. It's almost like it, it looks like a chain stitch on the side of the serge. I mean, this thing is thick and it's very sturdy and I usually don't like overlocked seams, but this one looks pretty good. And again, going off the thickness issue, I think trying to double fell a denim like this is really gonna distract from the character and integrity of the jean. And it's also gonna be super thick and very hard to cuff these jeans with something that thick and that stiff. But yeah, all in all, if you guys really appreciate creative denim pieces like I do, Oni Denim is definitely the way to go. And I can't wait to cut more pieces for them and see what other creative styles that they have to offer.